The city of Miami just announced that it will deliver even stronger penalties for businesses that do not follow the new safety guidelines there. CBS Force Ty Russell joins us live outside City Hall in Coconut Grove with the very latest. Ty? Yeah, Elliot, that announcement just happened within the last 30 minutes. I'm yards away from Miami City Hall, where Miami Mayor Francis Suarez made that announcement about a harsher punishment for businesses caught breaking the rules. As we take a look at some video, we'll break it down for you. A first offense is a 10-day shutdown. A second is 15 days. And a third, that's 30 days, plus there may be an arrest. In Miami Day, the state has recorded about 35,000 cases and near 8,000 deaths since all of this started. And because the positivity rate has jumped up over the last two weeks, the city of Miami now has a mask mandate. The positivity rate has led to a closure of beaches throughout South Florida over the holiday weekend. And City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez spent several days now handing out masks in hot spots. The county also has what's called strategic urban response to guideline education or surge teams to hand out supplies and information in places like Little Havana to help flatten the curve. The city has seen five businesses close so far, but they were only shut down for about a day. That all changes starting today. But what's mostly interesting, contact tracers say most cases in the city may have come from home. A great proportion of the new cases are people that are indicated that they were in graduation parties and also home get together. So it's imperative, more imperative than ever, uh, particularly over this long July 4th weekend, that people do not congregate in other people's homes uh, without observing the rules that have been recommended by our healthcare professionals. The mayor also told us today Miami police officers have not issued any tickets for the mask mandate. However, Miami police officers do have extra masks with them to hand out to people who don't have any. We are live just outside Miami City Hall. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.